We are back at the land of opportunity, baby. One of our favorite, most beautiful spots that we go to. Look at this crystal clear water behind me. Now, this is one of my favorite spots because it is filled with literally anything you can imagine. Big manta rays, tarpon snook, giant eels. One of my favorite things about this spot is there's a bunch of rocks we can flip. There's always eels and really cool fish under there. So let's jump right into it, try to catch some cool fish. Thought I met you at the wrong time. Then you caught me on that one night. Girl, I wanna know how this thing get out of my controls. Zip line into your timeline. Hey, that body don't lie. I didn't care for the hype, yeah. Guys, the first thing on the agenda today is to get this fish trap in the water, get it soaking, because we got all these beautiful shrimp here and not a single fish in the whole entire ocean, mark my words here, not a single fish in the whole entire ocean can resist the shrimp. Can resist the shrimp. I was making sure I worded that right, yeah. but everything in the ocean loves shrimp and uh, we're hoping to get some sick fish, maybe some crabs, eels, you never know. We're at the freaking mouth of the inlet. This could be infested with just about anything. Literally so. anything. We've caught green more eels here, chain eels here, you name it, we've caught it here. There's always big eagle rays here. All right, let's get this fish trap. It doubles as a nice hat, a mesh hat, but today I'm not gonna use it as a hat today, I'm gonna use it as a fish trap. It's actually so. a really nice sombrero. Yeah. As you can see, it really protects from sun uh -huh. with all these holes. It's, it's nice. a mesh hat, you know? All these shrimp in the trap, in the water. I know the best spot around town, trust me, bro. All right, let's get these in. And the reason why we come here to catch fish is because there's always a bunch of rocks, crystal blue water, and they're, they're just all up in these rocks. So you gotta draw them out of those rocks to catch those cool fish. Bye. Got my shrimp, got my trap. There goes a wild jack. Setting the fish trap. Ooh. Looking good, good form, good form. Got rocks here, got rocks there, stay in the middle. All right, okay, Jack, Jack thinks this is a good area. Put her down. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Now we wait, but while we wait, we throw some rods, maybe ch check for some stingrays, because you never know what we're gonna catch. Guys, you're not gonna believe. I went out to my dock the other day. I went down to feed my fish, and I saw this stingray right here. I hooked it, I almost caught it. That would have been perfect for the saltwater pond. In the meantime, while we wait, I know a rock ledge that you guys are seeing right now. It's literally just a rock that is, it's it's literally just a piece of, what is it? What is that? It's what? a word. <laughs> Where? There's there's a rock ledge that has like it's a big rock. What is that? It's a big rock. It's a big rock that fish are able to go underneath and it's infested with fish. And I'm talking fish that you don't see often. I've actually caught like weird looking gobies that were literally red, white, and blue. Never seen before ever. I swear to God. Alright, go catch so it. So I'm gonna throw that thing under there and it, it, we're gonna catch something weird. Look at that! Look at that! Look at the size of that freaking rass! That's a slippery dick. We're slippery yeah. dick. Is it a slippery I dick? I told you there's weird looking crap under there. Dude. That, Look at the size of that thing. That is a rainbow. Look at the <laughs> colors on this. That thing, that ledge, I'm telling you, is infested with aquarium fish. There's so many. Look at that ras, or whatever it is. It's it, some it, sort of. It's literally a rainbow. Look at the blue. Look at that. Whoa, that is insane. Look at the little blue gill right there. Pink, pink, blue, and lime green. That can is you insanely see cool. Ones? That is so teal sick. blue. Every color you can imagine on that fish. Dude, that is gorgeous. I want like 50 of these to go into the saltwater pond to get it nice and cycle, have them all swimming around like oh. that. Oh, that would be sick. Oh. Dude, he's got teeth, look at those things. You oh, see that? I'll take your finger off, mate. Oh, heck yeah, man. Ooh, you can't hold, I think it says a slippery dick, you can't hold it. I got it, I think we put him home. Look how beautiful that is though, oh my God. That thing is sick. That is gorgeous, look at the tail, look at the pink in the tail. That's, that's a nice. Cool, that's the biggest one I've ever caught, yeah. that's sick. See you, buddy. Cool. Letting that fish trap ferment real nice though. Could be 10 of those in there. Got another one? It's infested. It is in. Ugh. That rock is infested with these things, bro. This one's a little darker, though. They could be anywhere. They, they literally are everywhere. Look at the pure beauty. Slippery. Take it in. Oh, he's got a full belly. Look at that. Catching free fish that you find at the aquarium store. Okay. You, you sell this thing at the store for about 100 bucks. 100 bucks at least. Now, since there is fish like this everywhere, guys, let's get 10,000 likes on this video. I've been doing some research on how to catch like those big French angels that we see by the inlet, lionfish, all that stuff. The way you gotta do it is you get a clear net and snorkel with a GoPro in here and we will catch the giant French angels. So drop a like on this video, we will make it happen when it's a nice sunny day. We'll come out with that GoPro and we will catch a French angel, I'm telling you. It's time to pull the trap, ladies and gentlemen. Jack is out, wild Jack in the wilderness over there. He's going out to the middle of the water to pull the trap. Let's see what's inside. It's a bigger fish trap, so I'm hoping. It's been in there for a while. I'm gonna see some crabs in there, something cool that we can throw in the tank. Let's see what he finds, baby. What are we talking, Jack? What are we talking here? It's hard to see inside there as of now. Woo! It's so cold. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got movement. Oh my god, this water is crazy. We got movement. Holy crap. Holy 
crap, dude. Oh my god, there's a lot in there. We're loaded up. Take this. Ah. Ah. Holy shit, there's a lot, Jack. We're loaded. We gotta get a bucket of water. Bro, look at that trap. We got grunts, we got, oh, look at this little one that we got. Little version Aww. of what we caught. Just chilling out there. Or that might be a little bit different of one. His, look how filled his stomach is from chewing up all that shrimp. Holy crap. Ah! Caught him. Did you heard that? Go! That's Got him again. Yeah. Ah! Got him. Caught him three times. Oh, we got another one of those? Yeah, small one. It's fine me. Oh my god, there's a bunch in there, There's bro. three freaking giant damsels. Everybody out. Everybody out of the bus. Oh my god, there's so many. Everybody out of the bus. Oh my god, okay. We gotta get these guys in the bucket. Look at these guys. Dude, look at these. They're like magenta. Was that magenta? Dude, those are sick. That is beautiful. Purple. Three of them. Holy crap. Look how pretty that fish is. I think a bunch of those would be cool for the saltwater pond too, though. I think it'd be cool if we had a school of them. We had a school of those guys. That'd be really neat. I'm gonna throw him back home. We can always come back and catch these. Yeah, I I'm over the slippery deck fish, This guys. is the third one today. Oh, he's actually lime green, dude. Yeah, he's got nice. He's actually cool, really cool. Once it's set up, we're gonna come back and catch bigger ones of these guys. See you, buddy. I think we might keep the rest in here, dude. That might Thanks. be safe. Well, let's let this one go. Let, let the grunt go? Yeah, let this guy yeah, go. Yeah, I, I... Once we have the pond set up, we'll get yeah. those. These guys are sick in here. Dude, we're keeping it's a must. We have to keep those. Put them in the shark tank for now, and then we can transfer them everything over to the saltwater pond once it's ready. That would be sick. Let's get back to the cribs so and get an up close look at these guys and put them in the tank. Some solid additions going in this tank today. Now, hopefully our sharks don't absolutely kill them because these things are perfect for the first fish to go in our saltwater pond. fish. Schooling fish, you know, for the first edition. I'm having a theory here. If you look in the tank now, you see rocks and maybe a shark. No activity. We need some energy. Yeah. And you feed off energy. So maybe we get some schooling fish back and forth. Our shark's gonna start swimming. Exactly. Let's that's see. What what, that's what I'm hoping here. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's get a nice looking damsel here. Let's take a look. Dude, that thing's a They're a little cake. stressed, so it just looks brown, but that thing's a beefcake. I have dude. a feeling it's gonna be like that, <clears throat> that purple and blue when we first got it. Let's hope, man. Let's hope. Let's get him in. He's gonna be our test dummy for the saltwater pond right there. Oh my god, he's freaking out. Welcome, sir! He's freaking out! I have more companions! Calm yourself, friend! More! Another one! Is this guy gonna freak out? Two, to see if they swim right to each other. Go, go over there. Yeah, he's starting getting up. Alright, we got the three stooges. This three. is the third stooge. Number three. Let's go! Let them school up. Okay. Dude, when they get comfortable, it's gonna bring nice activity, nice light to the tank. Now, ho me. hopefully this week we fill that pond up. Because it's coming along. It's coming along, guys. Trust me. Me and Jack gotta go do some work over there yeah. in a little bit. So we're gonna fill this thing up, then we can add fish. It's gonna be nice. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to go over to fishguy.shop. Get some hats while they're still in stock. Trust me, they're selling quickly. And uh, just stay tuned, because we got something spicy cooking up in the oven. The oven's preheated at the max heat. About, broil. What does it go up to? 600, bro? It's on broil. Like, you're putting cookies in there, they're on fire. That's, yeah. what, we're, that's what we're cooking up. So stay just, tuned. Just stay tuned. We love you guys. Catch you later.